the network. You click and engage with people who are familiar with you. Like you're more likely to click on, like two people could be giving the same information, you're more likely to click on the account that you're familiar with and you have an issue with it than the one that you've never seen before. Um, so that same thing applies to artists, and especially when you're using advertising, because most people don't trust ads out the gate. Like the first time they see an ad, they're very just, they just, you know, some very distrustful of it. But the more they start to see you, look like, yeah, and like I'm saying, the more they start to see you and start to like, okay, I've seen this stuff before, you know, maybe it's something I'll check it out. I'm familiar yeah, with it now. Um, so I always make the case of the first ad should really be optimized for brand awareness because that'll come in, man. Like especially when you're optimizing for brand awareness or uh, views on it and it's like really good shit and people just start sharing it naturally, you know what I'm saying? You'll start to get what you want out of it. And I think that's probably one of the quicker ways and the cheaper ways to start telling if something is worth being uh, or having, you know, a good amount of money put into it. Because if you're seeing that, you know, a lot of people are seeing it, but it's not reacting as well, it's not clicking as well. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't really translating. That's what I was concerned about. That's what I was going to ask you. I don't think it's translating because, like, 230 clicks, I should be getting at least, you know what I'm saying, like a decent amount, like 100 plays, you know what I mean, at least. Well, how many have you gotten? Like, I don't see, like, let me see when I started it because then I can kind of gauge it. So I started it on the 22nd, and it ran through the 28th. So if I go to my Spotify for artists, look at the streams. Because I would say, man, you said 200 clicks. Nah, you definitely wouldn't be getting about. Like, if you were getting 100 streams out of 200 clicks, like, you would, you hit the jackpot. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be. That would be oh, like, okay. So I ain't tripping? Yeah, like, 50% would be, like, actually, like, that shit would be crazy. Right? Like, if you got some shit like that, that's the one. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, yeah, what, are you, you got, do you have your streams put up? Yeah. So, literally, it, it was like, so 22nd was three and then the 24th, 23rd was zero, 24 was five, and then it constantly was four, five, three, three through the end date, the 28th. Yeah. So, yeah, I was saying. They have, to, they have to listen to it to at least 30 seconds, right? Yeah. Before it to count. Yeah. So I would say it's either yeah that case of if they are clicking to it, uh, they're either clicking to it, playing it long, or not playing it for long, or they're getting to your account and leaving. Um, or third option, the load time between clicking on the Spotify link, they got annoyed and just exited out the ad and never made it over. Like they clicked the link, but they didn't let the page load on the actual right. Spotify. Like that's a, actually that's a real thing. Like that's a real problem. Um, I didn't did it before myself, so I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, yeah, exactly. I was about to say, yeah, most people are like, they're like, oh, it's taking too long. Click now. Yeah, fuck it. I'm out. <laughs> so I would say for the sake of this, there are two things I'll probably change about this. Like I said, going from a traffic ad to a video view ad, just so you're starting to focus more so on just like finding people who like the content, um, which I think will get you much better results long term. And then I would say transitioning the traffic from going directly to Spotify to like a smart link or something that you can track. Do you, I was going to ask you about that. Cause like, do you think giving people more options will, cause like that's more time for them to think. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of smart links that have like eight links in it, but if you have like three in there. You know, if it was like YouTube, Spotify, Apple music or something like that. It was like, you know, if somebody finds it and they really like it and they have a problem with it, like they'll reach out to you and ask you about it. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, or most people are, I like to think of capable of, if they really like it, they'll go to the platform and look for it. Um, right. And then you don't know that they really wanted it, what they really wanted to listen to the song because they did, they did the work. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. For something like that, exactly. But just even going back to the smart link on, on just like a smaller level is, Smart links give you a closer number of impressions. So you can see that, okay, 200 people click the link, but only 80 people made it this far to the thing. So that'll tell you like, okay, 120 people didn't let the page load up to get there. So 120 people lost interest, but these 80 people made it there. And then 
you know, it'll show you how many people clicked out to the different profiles. Yes, you will lose some people in that process of just like that being an extra step for them. But the information that you're able to get from that is much more useful and like where you're at than worrying about those couple of people that you're losing because of that extra step. Um, so those are, yeah, those are probably two big suggestions I'll make there. And then I know it's like when I was trying to find my winning audience, like literally, it was like no women was clicking it. Like it wasn't even worth like re like putting them as part of my like an audience set. Like it was it literally wasn't even worth it. So yeah, I, just, I, I, I we had we had that same problem too. Like <laughs> it's it's hard to get chicks for some reason. The chicks, I don't know what it is. It's just our shit to it. It's mainly dudes. You know what I mean? But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not Chris Brown, so. Oh, that's that's not, you know, I mean, make something they like or push it exclusively to them and then, you know, take the people out there that like it. Like, if, if the idea is to build more more women in your fan base, it's like, you know, have an ad that only runs the women. You know, see how they react to it and then see what they like for you. It's the same shit across, like, anything, really. That's how I look at it. Um, but I wouldn't no, say, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I still wouldn't cut them out completely, though. Like, at this point, just, let the ad kind of do it. Like, run into more of a broad gap with some specificity in it, like, pretty much which will be through the targeting and stuff. But then let, you know, like, if if it hits 10,000 people and only 100 of them are women, then, you know, that's still 100 women that you hit that liked it that would, would have been there if you cut them out completely. I still look at it that way, you know what I'm saying? Like, let the ad just do its thing. Um, and then, like I said, if that becomes a thing where that's what you want to build more into, then make stuff specifically for that market and start to push stuff out to that market. You know? All right. It's the network.